planet Earth's geological history is fascinating. Within this history, diamonds are Earth's oldest preserved minerals and have captured human imagination unlike any other mineral. Diamonds are geological masterpieces, forged by nature, billions of years ago. Throughout time wealth and power has often been measured in the ownership of some of the world's most valuable and desirable diamonds, gemstones and other precious metals. For hundreds of years, diamonds had been mined from secondary sources like rivers and mud pools. Nobody knew where or how these diamonds came from until diamond pipes were discovered in South Africa during the 1870s. With the discovery of vast diamond-bearing pipes, supply increased significantly and diamonds were made available to the general public in the form of engagement rings. As a result, the industry reached new heights and contributed to an important part of worldwide economy. A lot of large and exquisite diamonds have gained fame, both as extraordinary examples of the beautiful nature of diamonds, and also because of the famous people who wore bought or sold them. Some of these diamonds were sold on auctions for over 70 million dollars and that says a lot about how valuable diamonds are. On this video, you'll find some of the most famous diamonds of all time in this top 10 list of the largest diamonds in the world right now. 10th on the list is the Millennium Star. The diamond was discovered in the Mbujimei district of Zaire in 1990. Uncut, it was 777 carats, 155.4 grams. It was purchased by De Beers during the height of the country's civil war that took place in the early to mid-90s. It took over three years for workers of the Smets Diamond Group to produce the classic pear form. The stone was split in Belgium, polished in South Africa and then sent to New York for finishing touches. The design process entailed the construction of more than 100 plastic models of the diamond to decide on the best cut, which was determined to be a pear shape with 54 facets. In its finished state, the Millennium Star Diamond weighs 203.04 carats boasts a color grade of D and is reportedly the only known diamond in the world rated both internally and externally flawless. Ninth in our list is the Queen Or, or the Mountain of Light. The diamond came from India's alluvial mines thousands of years ago. For centuries, India was the world's only source of diamonds, all the way until 1725 with the discovery of diamond mines in Brazil. Most of the gemstones were alluvial, meaning they could be sifted out of river sands, and rulers of the subcontinent embraced their role as the first diamond connoisseurs. Although it's impossible to know exactly where the Kiwino ore came from, and when it first came into the Mughal's possession, there is a definite point at which it appears in the written record. In 1628, Mughal ruler Shah Jahan commissioned a magnificent, gemstone encrusted throne. The bejeweled structure was inspired by the fabled throne of Solomon, the Hebrew king who figures into the histories of Islam, Judaism and Christianity. Shah Jahan's throne took seven years to make, costing four times as much as the Taj Mahal, which was also under construction. Among the many precious stones that adorned the throne were two particularly enormous gems that would, in time, become the most valued of all, the Timur ruby, more highly valued by the Mughals because they preferred colored stones, and the Kohen or Or diamond. The diamond was lodged at the very top of the throne, in the head of a glistening gemstone peacock. When Nader invaded Delhi in 1739, the ensuing carnage cost tens of thousands of lives and the depletion of the treasury. Nader left the city accompanied by so much gold and so many gems that the looted treasure required 700 elephants, 4,000 camels and 12,000 horses to pull it, and you thought all that fanfare in Aladdin was Disneyized embellishment. 
Nader took the peacock throne as part of his treasure, but removed the timaruby and the koinor diamond to wear on an armband. The koinor would remain away from India, in a country that would become Afghanistan, for 70 years. After decades of fighting, the diamond returned to India and came into the hands of Sikh ruler Anjit Singh in 1813, whose particular affection for the gem ultimately sealed its aura of prestige and power. For the British, that symbol of prestige and power was irresistible. If they could own the jewel of India as well as the country itself, it would symbolize their power and colonial superiority. It was a diamond worth fighting and killing for, now more than ever. After Ranjit Singh's death in 1839, the Punjabi throne passed between four different rulers over four years. At the end of the violent period, the only people left in line for the throne were a young boy, Duleep Singh, and his mother, Ranij Indan. And in 1849, after imprisoning Jindan, the British forced Duleep to sign a legal document amending the Treaty of Lahore, that required Duleep to give away the Koinor and all claim to sovereignty. The boy was only 10 years old. Eighth on our list, the constellation. Found in Botswana Karowi mine way back in 2015. It is 813 carat constellation rough, which Nemesis bought in partnership with Swiss jeweler de Grisogano for $63.1 million in 2016. At $77,613 per carat, the stone still ranks as the most expensive rough diamond ever sold. The evaluation, mapping and polishing process of the Constellation Collection took over 18 months to complete, with the main processing carried out by Almost Diamond Services, a sister company of Nemesis International, based in the Dubai Multi Commodities Center's Almost Towers. The company achieved a 57% recovery rate, Mooninch noted, indicating the weight of the final polished relative to the rough. Nemesis International on September 2019, unveiled a 313 carat diamond that has been certified as the largest decolor polished stone in history. The Constellation 1 Diamond. The emerald shape, VVS Clarity Diamond, known as Constellation 1, is one of eight stones that make up a collection manufactured from the 813 carat Constellation Rough. The incomparable diamond is another African diamond, one of the largest ever found in the world, 890 carats, 178 grams. In 1984, a young girl discovered it in a pile of rubble from old mine dumps of the nearby MIB a diamond mine, Democratic Republic of the Congo. The girl gave the diamond to her uncle, who sold it to some local African diamond dealers who in turn sold it to a group of Lebanese buyers operating out of Kinshasa. Eventually it was sold it to Donald Zale, chairman of the board of the Zale Corporation, the Dallas-based jewelry store chain. He bought the diamond in partnership with Marvin Samuels, of the Premier Gems Corporation, and Louis Glick, both prominent figures in the New York diamond industry. The huge stone was finally unveiled in November, 1984 which coincided with the Zale Corporation's 75th anniversary, their diamond anniversary. Shortly afterwards it was put on display at the Natural History Wing of the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. In the clouded mountains in Africa, an incredible treasure was discovered. Its name is, the Lesotho Legend the sixth largest gem quality diamond yet recovered in history. This unbelievable jewel was found in the kingdom of Lesotho. These country holds some of the most beautiful scenery in the world. From the waterfalls and canyons of the south, to the nebulous mountains of the north, its beauty is unique. But within its rich soil, buried deep down over billions of years, we find its most special treasure of all which are the pride and joy of the Lesotho people. It is high above the kingdom, far from all civilizations that we find the Lefzing diamond mine. Here, among the clouds, the rain, 
and ferocious natural elements a marvelous story of discovery began. It is in this high security room that one day, the fabulous and unexpected 910 carat diamond was discovered, reaching the hand of the masterful sorters. The emotions, was beyond words. After meticulous analysis, this stone was identified as a D-color, type 2 diamond. Making it of the utmost color and clarity and it has been named the Lesotho legend. The 968 carat, 193.78 grams, star of Sierra Leone diamond was discovered by miners on February 14, 1972, in the Dominco alluvial mines in the Koidu area of Sierra Leone. It ranks as the fifth largest gem quality diamond and the largest alluvial diamond ever discovered. On October 3, 1972, Sierra Leone's then president, Syaka Stevens, announced that Harry Winston, the New York City jeweler, had purchased the star of Sierra Leone for under $2.5 million. Fourth on our list is for the Excelsior Diamond. It is a gem quality diamond, and was the largest known diamond in the world from the time of its discovery in 1893 until 1905, when the larger Cullinan diamond was found. On the day of the diamond's discovery the contract between the mining company and the syndicate of firms in London which purchased its diamonds expired. This may have contributed to the fact that its discovery was not reported in any of the prestigious British newspapers, and the diamond, despite its fine quality and exceptional size, remained largely unremarked upon. In 1895 the Excelsior was joined by another very large diamond from the Jages Fontaine mine, first called the Reitz Diamond after the president of the Orange Free State but soon renamed the Jubilee Diamond, in honor of Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee. For reasons that remain obscure, this smaller diamond weighing only 650.80 carats overshadowed the Excelsior. One reason speculated is that the Excelsior was perceived to be far too large, and of quality too superior, for any prospective buyer. The consequence was that it was sent to Ijeska in Amsterdam, in 1903, to be cut into ten smaller stones. Found at the Lukara Karawi mine in Botswana, the 1109 carat rough diamond was the largest gem quality rough diamond discovered in over 100 years and the second largest ever found. There is a huge amount of good fortune involved in unearthing a rough diamond of this extraordinary beauty and importance. Year after year can go by. Month after month can pass. With nothing. Then you get lucky, says Lawrence Gruff of the discovery. The record-breaking stone was given the name Alicidi Larona, which means our light in Tswana, the official language of Botswana. Using the highly sophisticated new technology, Gruff's gemologists explored deep within the diamond, mapping the maze of imperfections and using this information to plot which cuts would yield the largest and highest clarity diamonds possible. By the time the final finessing of the diamond's facets had taken place, more than 18 months had elapsed and the diamond had passed through the hands of a highly skilled team of gemologists and master craftsmen sharing decades of experience. Upon sending this masterpiece of technical audacity and diamond artistry to the Jaya for certification, it was confirmed that Lawrence Gruff's challenge had not only been met, but exceeded. The Gruff Lassidy Larona, as the principal polished diamond would be known from now on, weighs an awe-inspiring 302.37 carats and is a top D color. It is not only the largest square emerald cut diamond in the world but also the largest highest clarity diamond ever graded by the Jaya. Second on our list is the Sewilu diamond. In April 2019, the largest diamond to be mined at Karawi to date, an unbroken 1758 carat near gem quality diamond was recovered. This recovery is the largest diamond recovered in Botswana and one of the largest diamonds in recorded history, 
superseding the spot held by the 1109 carat Lacida Larona recovered from Karawi in 2015. The diamond has been characterized as near gem of variable quality, with recent analysis confirming that it also includes domains of higher quality white gem. Lucara believes that the full potential of this special stone will only be revealed once polished. The Sewilu is spectacular not only for its immense size but also for its intriguing characteristics of shape, color, formation and composition. The rough crystal is largely covered in a very thin layer of black carbon, enveloping yet hinting at the two billion year old secrets hidden within, the full extent of variations in color and clarity of the diamond yield is still unknown. And first on our list is the Cullinan Diamond. The Cullinan Diamond was the largest gem quality rough diamond ever found, weighing 3106.75 carats, 621.35 grams, discovered at the Premier No. 2 mine in Cullinan, South Africa, on the 26th of January 1905. It was named after Thomas Cullinan, the mine's chairman. In April 1905, it was put on sale in London, but despite considerable interest, it was still unsold after two years. In 1907, the Transvaal colony government bought the Cullinan and then presented it to King Edward VII of the United Kingdom, who had it cut by Joseph Esker and Company in Amsterdam. Cullinan produced stones of various cuts and sizes, the largest of which is named Cullinan 1 or the Great Star of Africa, and at 530.4 carats, 106.08 grams, it is the largest clear-cut diamond in the world. The stone is mounted in the head of the sovereign scepter with cross. The second largest is Cullinan 2 or the Second Star of Africa, weighing 317.4 carats, 63.48 grams, mounted in the Imperial State Crown. Looking back as far as Western culture's beginnings, in ancient Greece, we see the promise of strength and beauty that diamonds offer. Today, nothing has changed. Diamonds remain the pinnacle symbol of eternity, inner strength, and beauty.